Okay, shuru. Bye bye. Hmm? <coughs> Hello, good morning, friends. My name is Devendra Gangwar, and why I welcome you all on the very special session of this month. And this is the last marathon of this month, and we are going to discuss some of the most important current affairs of September month, part two. We had already discussed part one in the previous session of the marathon. Now today we are going to discuss some of the important current affairs of September months, which are going to be asked in your upcoming exams. and before beginning the session i wish you a very happy diwali to all of you and your family okay my voice is clear to all of you kindly share the session among your friends so that maximum people can join us all them ready Okay, and once again, I wish you a very happy Diwali to all of you and your family. Kindly share the session. Kindly share the session to your friends so that maximum people can join us. okay now let's let's move to the next question uh, very very first question and here comes the first question for you naga mecha naga king chili festival has been organized in which of the following state the question is asking about a very important festival which is being celebrated in uh, these states and you have to answer which among the following is the correct answer for this naga mecha festival okay naga mecha festival is organized in which state kindly Kindly give me the answer. What is the correct answer for this state? Naga Mircha Festival is organized in which state? So here the answers are Tripura, Sikkim, Assam, and Nagaland. Okay. So the correct answer here for this question is the Nagaland. Okay. Nagaland is the correct answer for this question. Naga Mircha Festival or Naga King Chili Festival is celebrated in Nagaland. And you should also remember that a festival. Known as Hornbill, okay. A festival known as Hornbill. It is very famous. It is very famous, which is celebrated in the state of Nagaland. Okay, Nagaland, and uh, a very famous festival. It is known as Cherry Blossom Festival. Okay, Cherry Blossom Festival. Cherry Blossom Festival. This is also asked in your. as a c and ntpc exam cherry blossom festival then the answer will be miss shillong meghalaya cherry blossom festival the answer will be uh, shillong meghalaya shillong meghalaya is the correct answer for this question okay so now let's move to the next question here comes the next question for you international business machines that is ibm has partnered with which of the following iits to advance quantum computing skills in the development and research in india hmm international business machines has partnered with which of the following iits to advance quantum computing skills development and research in india options here are iit roorkee iit delhi iit madras and iit kanpur what should be the correct answer for this question kindly tell me the correct answer for this question kindly tell me the correct answer for this question hmm so here the correct answer is iit madras the correct answer is here is iit madras okay the first iit was iit kharagpur the first iit was iit kharagpur which was established under the iit kharagpur 
फर्स्ट आई आई टी ऑफ इंडिया फर्स्ट आई आई टी ऑफ इंडिया एंड आई आई टी स्टैंड फॉर इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मैनेजमेंट एंड खड़गपुर इज इन खड़गपुर इज इज इन वेस्ट बंगाल ओके आई आई टी खड़गपुर वॉज द फर्स्ट आई आई टी ऑफ इंडिया एंड इट वॉज एस्टेब्लिश्ड अंडर द रिजीम ऑफ श्री जवाहरलाल नेहरू ओके नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द किवेथू मिलिट्री गैरिसन इन अरुणाचल प्रदेश हैज बीन रिनेम्ड एज द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग दैट किवेथी किवेथू मिलिट्री गैरिसन रिसेंटली इट वाज रिनेम्ड एज जनरल विपिन रावत मिलिट्री गैरिसन अब्दुल कलाम मिलिट्री गैरिसन और अब्दुल अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी मिलिट्री गैरिसन एंड कैप्टन सौरभ कालिया मिलिट्री गैरिसन काइंडली गिव मी द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन Kibithu Military Garrison in Arunachal Pradesh has been renamed as General Vipin Rawat Military Garrison. Okay, so the here correct answer is General Vipin Rawat Military Garrison. General Vipin Rawat Military Garrison and Kibithu. Kibithu is the Kibithu is the easternmost point on the of the India. Kibithu is the easternmost part in India. Okay. eastern most part of india okay eastern most part of the india you should remember for your upcoming exams now let's move to the next question from here ministry of ayush celebrates ayurveda day every year on the dhanvantri jayanti uh, dhanvantri jayanti this year 2022 it will be celebrated on which day okay सो वॉट इज धनवंतरी जयंती धनवंतरी जयंती इज सेलिब्रेटेड एवरी ईयर ऑन द इवेंट ऑफ धनतेरस ओके ऑन द इवेंट ऑफ धनतेरस ऑन द इवेंट ऑफ धनतेरस धनवंतरी डे इज धनवंतरी जयंती सेलिब्रेटेड धनवंतरी जयंती धनवंतरी जयंती इज सेलिब्रेटेड धनवंतरी जयंती इज सेलिब्रेटेड so this year the dhanteras or we can say the beginning of the festival season of diwali begins with the 22nd of september 22nd of september is celebrated as dhanteras this year and dhanteras is celebrated at dhanvantri jayanti every year okay so here the correct answer is 22nd of september now let's move to the next question of ours here the question is asking about the <coughs> largest museum of harappan culture to be set up in which of the following states of india okay so when we talk about the harappan culture or we can say the harappan civilization this begins with uh, this begins almost 2500 bc 2500 bc and uh, this is known as indus valley civilization or we can say the indus civilization or we can say the they are uh, nickname is at harappan civilization okay तो हड़प्पन सिविलाइजेशन इज कंटेम्प्ररी टू हड़प्पन सिविलाइजेशन इज कंटेम्प्ररी टू इजिप्टियन सिविलाइजेशन इजिप्टियन सिविलाइजेशन इजिप्टियन सिविलाइजेशन एंड वी कैन से दैट मेसोपोटामियन सिविलाइजेशन मेसोपोटामिया सिविलाइजेशन इज आल्सो कंटेम्प्ररी ऑफ Mesopotamia civilization is also contemporary of in the civilization and we can say that Chinese civilization okay the Chinese civilization is also the contem contemporary of contemporary of in this civilization so in india in india the largest harappan site is is rakhigadi okay the harappan site which is located in haryana is the largest harappan site in india and mohanjodaro and you can say that lothal in gujarat kalibangan in rajasthan these all are the uh, harappan sites okay so the largest museum of the world will be set up in haryana or we can say the correct answer is rakhi gadi village okay rakhi gadi village rakhi gadi village in haryana is the place where the world's largest museum of harappan culture to be set up in in india okay now let's move to the very next question who has become the first ever cricketer to reach 50 million following followers on twitter 
Okay, so the recently a cricketer has achieved the milestone of 50 million followers on Twitter. So here the options are Rohit Sharma, Sachin Tendulkar, Rahul Dravid and Virat Kohli. So what is the correct answer for this question? Which, uh, which player of India has followers of more than 50 million Twitter followers in to uh, Twitter? Hmm. More than 50 million followers on Twitter, which cricketer is having? Hmm. Can you give me the correct answer for this question? So here the correct answer is Virat Kohli. Okay. Virat Kohli is the correct answer for this question and Virat Kohli is having more than 50 million Twitters, sorry, followers on Twitter. Okay, so Twitter is an American, so Twitter in, is an American or we can say the uh, US social networking site and India, a social networking site known as Koo. Koo, Koo is also a <coughs> counterpart of Twitter. Okay, counterpart of Twitter, counterpart of Twitter and it is fully developed in India, okay. We can say the indigenously developed, indigenously developed, indigenously developed, indigenously developed social networking site, okay, indigenously developed social networking site of India. Now let's move to the very next question. Which edition of Japan India Maritime Exercise JIMEX hosted by the Indian Navy began in way of Bengal? Okay, the question is asking about the Japan India Maritime Exercise. Japan India Maritime Exercise. Japan India Maritime Exercise hosted by the Indian Navy began in Bay of Bengal. Which edition is it? Which is what is the uh, edition of this exercise? Fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. What is the edition? What is the addition? Can you tell me? Fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. Hmm. Hmm. What is the correct answer? So the correct answer for this question is correct answer for this question is sixth. Okay. Sixth, uh, sixth edition of the Japan India Maritime Exercise was kind of hosted by the Indian Navy in the Bay of Bengal. Okay, so uh, you should remember the maritime exercises which are going to be held in uh, India or in other count other parts of the world with the. <coughs> okay, so uh, you should know that Vajra Prahar, Vajra Prahar. Yudh Abhyas, Bajra Prahar, Yudh Abhyas. So these are the exercises between India and India and US. Okay, Al Nagha, Al Nagha. It is between India and Oman. India and Oman. Okay, this is the Exercise. Hmm. Hmm. Exercise Varun. Exercise Varun. Varun is between India and Russia. India and Russia. Okay. We can say that Indra. Exercise Indra. So it is between India and Russia. India and Russia. So you should remember the military exercises which are conducted in India and between other countries and these are the very important questions for your exams so that the question is asked uh, in the manner that which uh, is the country who is participating in the this kind of exercises and where uh, what is the place at which these exercises were held. Now let's move to the next question. Hindi Divas is celebrated across the country on which of the following day? Hindi Divas is celebrated in the country on which of the following day? 10th of September, 15th of September, 16th of September or 14th of September? Kindly give me the correct answer for this question. Very easy question. Very easy question and it was asked several times in the exams. And it was asked several times in the exams. Hmm. Hindi Divas is celebrated on which of the following day? 10th of September, 15th of September, 16th of September, 14th of September. So here the correct answer is 14th of September. Okay, the correct answer here is 14th of September. 
on this day on the very on the same day 14th september 14th september 1949 1949 hindi was adopted hindi was adopted as hindi was adopted as state language okay hindi is not the hindi is not the national language okay hindi is not the national language you should remember that hindi is not the national language okay 14 september 1949 hindi was adopted as the state language or the medium of instruction in the india and on the 10th of january 10th of january is celebrated as 10th of january is celebrated as world hindi day okay world hindi day is celebrated world hindi day is celebrated on 10th of january every year hmm. now let's move to the next question india first forest university to be established in which of the following states kindly tell me the correct answer for this question uttar pradesh telangana rajasthan and punjab in which of the following states india's first forest university to be established in which of the following state okay first forest university first forest university hmm can you tell me the correct answer for this question so the correct answer for this question is telangana telangana is the correct answer for this question and telangana is uh, establishing a first forest university in india and uh, who is the chief minister of telangana k chandrasekhar rao okay k chandrasekhar rao is the chief minister of telangana k chandrasekhar rao is the cm of telangana okay he is the cm of telangana and uttar pradesh anandi ven patel is the governor okay uttar pradesh anandi ven patel is the governor anandi ven patel is governor and in punjab and in punjab who is the cm bhagwan singh man bhagwan singh man is the cm of punjab okay and rajasthan Rajasthan you should know that hmm who is the cm of rajasthan kindly comment in the comment box which country will be invited by the india as a guest country during its g20 meeting during during its presidency okay bangladesh nepal bhutan and pakistan so this year this year india is going to celebrate sorry india is going to host not this year upcoming year 2023 the g20 presidency is going to be given to india g20 presidency is going to be india okay and 2023 this year g20 summit is in indonesia okay indo nesia is hosting the g20 summit or we can we can say that g20 indonesia is the host of g20 summit this year in 2022 but in 2020 2023 the presidency will come to india okay so who uh, has been invited as the guest of honor for the g20 summit so here the answer is bangladesh bangladesh is invited as the guest country during its g20 meeting so who is the pm who is the pm then the answer will be sheikh hasina okay answer will be sheikh hasina sheikh hasina is the pm of bangladesh and recently he arrived in india and the what is the currency of bangladesh what is the currency of bangladesh then the answer will be taka okay answer will be taka for this bangladesh and what is the capital what is the capital then the answer will be dhaka the answer will be dhaka okay answer will be dhaka for this question earlier it was it is it was known as dakka okay earlier was known as dakka so 1970 war 1971 war 1971 war 
इज नोन एज बांग्लादेश लिबरेशन वॉर 1971 वॉर इज नोन एज बांग्लादेश लिबरेशन वॉर बांग्लादेश लिबरेशन वॉर बांग्लादेश लिबरेशन वॉर वॉज कंडक्टेड इन 1971 वन इन विच इंडिया पार्टिसिपेटेड एंड हेल्प द बांग्लादेश टू गेट लिबरेशन फ्रॉम द पाकिस्तान ओके लिबरेशन फ्रॉम द पाकिस्तान एंड इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी जी ट्वेंटी जी ट्वेंटी 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 फोर समिट एंड जी ट्वेंटी 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 फाइव समिट इज गोइंग टू बी हेल्ड इन ब्राजील ब्राजील and it is in south africa and it is south africa okay you should remember this question for your upcoming exams so okay uh, g20 g2022 2024 summit will be held in brazil and g2025 summit will be held in uh, south africa okay so now let's move to the next question hmm INS Satpura and P81 maritime patrol aircraft reach in which of the following country to participate in the multinational level exercise kakadu okay the question is asking INS Satpura and P81 patrol aircraft reached in which of the following country to participate in the multinational level exercise multi level hmm what is the correct answer for this question australia russia japan usa Kindly give me the correct answer for this question. Hmm. What will be the correct answer for this question? Australia, Russia, Japan, and USA. So here the correct answer will be Australia. Okay, the exercise Kakadu. Exercise Kakadu is conducted between Australia and Australia and India. Okay. Hmm. So it is among the seven large uh, seven continents of the. World that is Austria, Australia. Hmm. Now let's move to the next question. Indian batter Robin Uthappa has announced his retire, uh, announced his retirement from all forms of Indian cricket. He is from which state? So recently, Indian batsman Indian batsman Robin Uthappa has announced his retirement from all form of Indian cricket. He is from which state? Kindly give me the correct answer for this question. So there are a lot of questions which are asked from the retirements. in uh, retirements from the sports in your uh, exams such as uh, who has retired from the uh, boxing wrestling cricket and uh, tennis this kind of questions are asked in your exams so what is the correct answer for this question he is hailing from the which state he is hailing from which state of india he is hailing from which state of india then the answer will be karnataka okay robin uthappa is a robin uthappa is a resident of karnataka state okay हम्म कर्नाटका कर्नाटका सीएम इज बासवराज बुम्बई कर्नाटका सीएम इज बासवराज बुम्बई बासवराज बुम्बई इज द सीएम ऑफ कर्नाटका यू शुड रिमेंबर नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी इज सेलिब्रेटेड एवरी ईयर ऑन विच ऑफ द फॉलो विन ऑन विच डे ग्लोबली इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी ओके इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी इज celebrated every year on which of the following days globally so you should also remember that democracy index democracy index democracy index is published by democracy index published by every year by which organization published by which organization then the answer will be the economist intelligence unit the economist intelligence unit by the economist intelligence unit every year okay the economist intelligence unit celebrate every year the democracy index okay so here the correct answer is 15th of september 15th of september is celebrated as 15th of september is celebrated as international day of democracy every year globally okay every year globally hmm snight uh, next move Engineers Day is observed in India on which of the following days? Seventeenth September, fifteenth of September, sixteenth of September, thirteenth of September. Engineers Day. The question is asking about the Engineers Day and on which day is it is celebrated? On which day it is celebrated? Kindly give me the correct answer for this question. Okay, 
So here the correct answer is 15th of September. Every year, every year 15th of September is celebrated as Engineers Day. Okay. Every year 15th of September is celebrated as Engineers Day. Engineers Day. In the memory of or we can, the, we can say that or to commemorate the birth anniversary of M. Vissosareya. Okay. M. Vissosareya. M. Vesusaraya was born on this day, birth anniversary, okay, and he is a civil engineer. Birth anniversary, and he is a civil engineer by occupation. Civil engineer by occupation. By, by occupation, okay, by occupation he is a civil engineer by occupation and he is also the mysore of divan divan of mysore okay he is the divan of mysore you should also remember that divan of mysore and he was the first he was the person who had written a book known as planned economy for india planned economy for india Planned economy for India was the written by whom? M. Besusaraya in 1934. Okay, in 1934 it was written at uh, 1934. And also you should remember that the same person is the pioneer of economic planning in India. Okay, the same person is the pioneer of economic planning in India. Okay, and later on. There are several plans presented by uh, different different persons such as Bombay plan and the people's plan, Gandhian plan, Sarbode plan and also the last plan is Sarbode plan and after that uh, institution known as uh, planning commission was established in India and after that in 1952 we get the National Development Council and from 1st of April 1951 we started a practice of five year plans and this five year plan discontinued in 2017 hmm. now let's move to the next question who has the who has launched swachh bharat portal for the special campaign 2.2.0 okay swachh bharat portal has been launched by which of the following Anurag Thakur, Piyush Goyal, Jitendra Singh and uh, Hardeep Singh Puri. So in this question when we are talking about the Swachhata portal, okay, when we are talking about the Swachhata portal, then your answer will be uh, somewhat close to Hardeep Singh Puri, somewhat close to Hardeep Singh Puri. But in this question, if you are giving the answer Hardeep Singh Puri, then your answer should be, uh, answer will be absolutely wrong. So here the correct answer will be, what is the correct answer for this question? <clears throat> what is the correct answer for this question? Kindly give me the correct answer for this question. Hmm. What will be the correct answer for this question? Okay. So the correct answer for this question is uh, Jitendra Singh. Rao Jitendra Singh. Rao Jitendra Singh has launched the Swachhata portal for the special campaign 2.0. Uh, hmm. hmm. Which of the following has released a new digital new digital publication BLOE Patrika at an event in New Delhi? Who had released the new digital publication BLOE Patrika at an event in New Delhi? National Green Tribunal, Reserve Bank of India, Election Commission of India and Niti Ayo. Kindly give me the correct answer for this question. What will be the correct answer for this question? Hmm. National BLO E Patrika. Okay. So when we are talking about the BLO, BLO stands for Booth level officer. Okay. BLO stands for booth level officer. BLO stands for booth level officer. Booth level officer. Okay. So everything is now clear from this explanation. BLO stands for booth level officer. So here the correct answer will be Election Commission of India. Election Commission of India. Election Commission of India. Okay. Here is the correct answer. So, Election Commission of India was established on, established on 25th January, 25th January 1950, okay, 
it was established on 25th January 1950. So, what is 25th January 90 uh, celebrated? Uh, how or you can say on the what is the actual name of the 25th January? What which day we celebrated on 25th of January? So here on every year 25th January is celebrated as National Voters Day. Okay, every year we celebrate National Voters Day. National Voters Day. National Voters Day we celebrate on 25th of January. And also we celebrate it as Tourism Day. Okay, Tourism Day on the same day 25th of January because on 25th of January we uh, we celebrate 20 uh, voters day and voting is a voting is a tourism voting is a tourism so on this same day tourism day is also celebrated in India and we talk about the election commission of India election commission of India it is a three member body okay it is a three member body it is a three member body which was established by the constitution of India three member body okay one is chief election commissioner and two are election commissioner okay one is chief election commissioner and two are election commissioners so kindly tell me who is the chief election commissioner who is the chief election commissioner who is the chief election commissioner kindly tell me in the comment box okay the first election commissioner okay the first election commissioner the first election commissioner is sukumar sen okay the first election commissioner is sukumar sen okay first election commissioner is sukumar sen and if we talk about the tenure if and if we talk about the tenure the tenure is up to 65 years or you can say 6 years whichever is going to be earlier either 6 years or 65 years of age then the election commissioner or the chief election commissioner will be retired okay so you should remember that the first first election commissioner was sukumar sen you it is very important for your exam kindly give me the answer for who is the current chief election commissioner of india who is the chief use the Chief Election Commissioner of India. Hmm. So nobody is giving the correct answer. Who is the Chief Election Commissioner of India? Can you give me the correct answer for this question? Who is the Chief Election Commissioner of India? Then the Chief Election Commissioner of India is Chief Election Commissioner of India is Mr. Rajiv Kumar. Okay, Mr. Rajiv Kumar is the Chief Election Commissioner of India. Hmm. And we and when we talk about the Reserve Bank of India, let's discuss some of the most important current affairs. So, a static portion that we are talking about RBI. RBI. RBI stands for Reserve Bank of India, and it was established on 1st April 1935 okay it was established on 1st April 1935 by RBI Act 19 RBI Act 1934 okay 1st April 1935 by RBI Act 1934 and it is headquartered at and it is headquartered at which place it is headquartered at Mumbai okay it is headquartered at Mumbai okay remember this thing and if we talk about other things such as uh, what where are the printing presses this question is asked in several exams where are the printing presses located in India or we can say how many printing presses are in India then the, your answer will be uh, four so there are four printing presses in India and first one is Nasik Maharashtra Nasik Maharashtra Nasik Maharashtra Devas Madhya Pradesh Devas Madhya Pradesh 
Salvoni Basvangol and last one is Mysore Karnataka okay so these are the four these are the four places where currency notes are printed and there is also one question arises uh, ink press okay Varnika ink manufacturing facility Varnika ink manufacturing facility Varnika ink manufacturing facility recently inaugurated in India ink manufacturing facility Varnika ink manufacturing facility ink manufacturing facility recently inaugurated in India where is it then your answer will be Mysore okay the answer will be Mysuru okay so Mandika ink manufacturing facility is uh, located in Mysuru and if we talk about the Hosangabad paper mill okay paper mill paper mill for currency notes paper mill for currency notes paper mill for currency notes then answer will, then your answer should be uh, Oshangabad Madhya Pradesh Oshangabad Oshangabad Madhya Pradesh so this is the correct answer for this uh, question and there are lot of points we had discussed in this question and when we talk about the Niti Ayog when we talk about Niti Ayog Okay, Niti Ayog. Where what is Niti Ayog? Niti Ayog is a non statutory, non statutory, and extra constitutional. Okay, extra constitutional body. Okay, and uh, Full form is National Institution for Transforming India. National Institution for Transforming India. National Institution for Transforming India is the correct answer for this question. Oh, sorry, uh, Niti Ayog full form. And if we talk about, and we if we talk about on which day it was established, then those answers will be answer should be. 1st of January, 1st of January no, 2015, 1st of January 2015 it was established and who is the chairman, who is the chairman, then answer should be, answer should be Prime Minister, answer should be Prime Minister, Prime Minister is the chairman of the Niti Aayog. and who is the vice chairman, who is the vice Chairman Suman K. Vary, Suman Kumar Vary, Suman Kumar Vary is the Vice Chairman and who is the and who is the CEO of this Nita Yog, then your answer, answer should be what who is the what is the name of CEO okay Parmeshwaran Ayer, Parmeshwaran Ayer, Parmeshwaran Ayer is the CEO of CEO of which IO Niti IO okay now let's move to the next question which geological park has been recognized as the best zoo in the country which geological park has been recognized as the best zoo in the country geological national park uh, New Delhi Nehru geological park Hyderabad Arinagar Anna geological park Chennai and Padmaja Naidu Himalayan geological park Darjeeling okay what is the correct answer for this question? What is the correct answer for this question? Can you tell me the correct answer for this question? Hmm. Can you tell me the correct answer for this question?
सो हियर द करेक्ट आंसर इज पदमाजा नायडू हिमालयन जोलॉजिकल पार्क दार्जिलिंग ओके सो दिस इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन पदमाजा नायडू हिमालयन जोलॉजिकल पार्क हैज बीन रिकॉग्नाइज एज द बेस्ट जू इन द कंट्री एंड दार्जिलिंग इट इज इन द पश्चिम बंगाल ओके इट इज इन वेस्ट बंगाल ओके दार्जिलिंग इज इन बेस्ट बंगाल यू शुड रिमेंबर सो रिसेंटली अ प्रोजेक्ट नोन एज अंडरग्राउंड मेट्रो अंडर वाटर अंडर वाटर मेट्रो वॉज स्टार्टेड इन विच सिटी ऑफ इंडिया अंडर वाटर मेट्रो अंडर वाटर मेट्रो हैज बीन स्टार्टेड इन विच विच सिटी ऑफ इंडिया सो द आंसर इज कर्नाटका ओके सॉरी कोलकाता आंसर विल बी कोलकाता फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इन विच रिवर देन द आंसर विल बी हुगली रिवर ओके इन द हुगली रिवर अंडर वाटर मेट्रो हैज बीन स्टार्टेड इन कोलकाता बेस्ट बंगाल एंड हु इज द सी एम देन द आंसर विल बी ममता बनर्जी ओके हु इज द सी एम देन द आंसर विल बी ममता बनर्जी ममता बनर्जी इज द सी एम ऑफ इस दिस वॉट वी कैन सी दैट वेस्ट बंगाल ओके एंड हु इज द गवर्नर हु इज द गवर्नर हु इज द गवर्नर द आंसर विल बी ला गणेशन ला गणेशन इज द गवर्नर ऑफ दिस कोलकाता सॉरी दिस वेस्ट बंगाल स्टेट ओके नाउ लेट मूव द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन लाओ जो जोआ लोरेंको वॉज सोर्न इन फॉर द फॉर अ सेकेंड टर्म एज द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ विच कंट्री ओके क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग अबाउट द जोआ लोरेंको वॉज सोर्न इन फॉर अ सेकेंड टर्म एज द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ विच कंट्री ऑप्शन आर एंगोला घाना सुडान एंड नामीविया सो हियर द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज अंगोला अंगोला इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन अंगोला इज द अंगोला इज द अंगोला इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन जो आ लोरेंको वॉज सॉन्ड इन फॉर द सेकेंड टर्म एट द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ विच कंट्री देन द आंसर विल बी अंगोला अंगोला वॉट इज द करेंसी ऑफ वॉट इज द करेंसी देन द आंसर विल बी क्वांजा आंसर विल बी क्वांजा एंड इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द कैपिटल ऑफ अंगोला कैपिटल ऑफ अंगोला देन द आंसर विल बी लोंडा ओके द आंसर विल बी लोंडा लोंडा इज द कैपिटल ऑफ लोंडा इज द कैपिटल ऑफ अंगोला ओके नाउ लेट मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द यूनियन कैबिनेट हैज अप्रूव द साइनिंग ऑफ अ गारंटी फॉर हॉस्टिंग द अंडर सेवनटीन फीफा वुमेन्स वर्ल्ड कप इन इंडिया हु इज द करेंट प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ फीफा ओके Hmm. Who is the current president of FIFA? Who is the current president of FIFA? Kindly give me the correct answer for this question. Audrey Azule, Geoff Allardyce, Arakadi, Dvorkovic, and Gianni Infantino. Okay. So the correct answer for this question is Gianni Infantino. Gianni Infantino is the president of FIFA, and FIFA is situated is uh, FIFA headquartered at FIFA headquartered at Zurich, Switzerland. ओके जोरिक स्विट्जरलैंड इज द करेक्ट आंसर और इज द करेक्ट हेडक्वार्टर ऑफ द फीफा ओके सो दिस ईयर इट दिस ईयर द फीफा अंडर 17 वुमेन वर्ल्ड कप इज गोइंग टू बी होस्ट इन हेल्ड इन इंडिया एंड इट इज इनोग्रेटेड आल्सो बट इन रिसेंट पास्ट द फीफा हैज कैंसल्ड द इवेंट ऑफ द फी अंडर सेवेंटीन फीफा वुमेन्स वर्ल्ड कप एंड इंडिया स्टार्टेड बॉयकॉटिंग द फीफा सो द फीफा चेंज देयर मूड एंड दे अनाउंस दैट दे विल बी गोइंग टू दे विल गोइंग टू हेल्ड फीफा वुमेन्स वर्ल्ड कप इन इंडिया राइट नाउ ओके सो वेर इज द फीफा वर्ल्ड कप फीफा Twenty twenty two is going to be organized. FIFA twenty twenty two is going to be organized in which country? So the answer will be Qatar. Okay, Qatar. Answer will be Qatar. FIFA twenty twenty is going to be held in Qatar. This is the correct answer for this FIFA twenty twenty two. Kindly comment in the comment box. What is the place in which uh, FIFA seventy uh, FIFA under seventeen women's World Cup is going to be organized in India? What is the place? What is the place where FIFA under seventeen Women's World Cup is going to be organized. Okay, Roger Federer, a 20 Grand Slam single title winner and one of the greatest tennis players, has announced his retirement from professional tennis. He is from which country? He is from which country? 
kindly tell me the correct answer for this question finland switzerland spain and norway okay roger federer is from which country you have to answer he is a 20 grand slam single status winner okay he is a 20 grand slam winner and he had recently announced that he is going to retire from his professional tennis he is from which country finland switzerland spain norway Hmm. What is the correct answer for this question? So here the correct answer for this question is Switzerland. He is hailing from the Switzerland and he has recently uh, announced that he is going to retire from the uh, tennis game. Okay. So there are four Grand Slam in tennis. There are four Grand Slam in tennis. Four Grand Slam in title. Uh, four Grand Slam title in tennis. What are they? One is Australian Open. One is Australian Open. One is Australian Open, then other is French Open, other is French Open and next one is Wimbledon Open, Wimbledon Open and the last one is US Open. Okay, so the last event in the tennis game for the year is US Open and it ins incept with the Australian Open. Okay, so let's move to the next question. World Ozone Day is observed every year on which day world ozone day okay the world ozone day is celebrated every year on the event of 16 september every year and 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 why why, why it is celebrated okay so a protocol known as montreal protocol okay montreal protocol montreal protocol montreal protocol what is montreal protocol it is a protocol which uh, It is a protocol which is related to the ozone layer depletion. Okay, it is the protocol which is related to the ozone layer depletion. Okay, so to protect, to protect ozone layer. Okay, this protocol is related with the protection of ozone layer. So, what are the elements? What are the elements that are harmful for the are harmful for the ozone layer the answer will be chlorofluorocarbons okay chlorofluorocarbons are the uh, particles that are responsible for the ozone layer depletion okay so montreal protocol uh, montreal is a city in canada okay montreal is a city in canada montreal is a city in canada okay so here the correct answer is 16th of september 16th of September is the correct answer for this question. Hmm. Now, let's move to the next question. Former Davis Cup captain Naresh Kumar passed away recently. Davis Cup is related to which sport? Davis Cup. Davis Cup is related to which sport? Recently, a player known as Naresh Kumar has passed away. And what is the game with which Davis Cup is related? Okay, options are hockey, tennis, kabaddi, football. Hockey, hockey, tennis, kabaddi, football. Kindly give me the correct answer for this question. Hmm. With which sport the Davis Cup is, uh, is related? It is related to tennis. Okay, it is related to tennis. Davis Cup is related to tennis. Now, let's move to the next question. Here, the question is, former cricketer umpire Asad Rauf passed away recently. He is from which country? Asad Rauf passed away recently. He is from which country? Okay. Options are Afghanistan, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Pakistan. Options are Afghanistan, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Pakistan. What is the correct answer for this question? Okay. So Asad Rauf, who had passed recently, is a is a umpire of umpire who is hailing from the 
Pakistan. Okay. So in today's news, or you can say the yesterday news, uh, there was a uh, very good information for Pakistan, or we can say the good event for Pakistan. Uh, <coughs> it has been removed. It has been removed from FATF grey list. Okay. It has been removed from FATF grey list. Pakistan has been removed from FATF. Has been removed. Has been removed from. Has been removed from FATF grey list. FATF grey list. He is removed from FATF grey list. And what is FATF? FATF is an institution. FATF is an organization which. Okay, FATF is watchdog of money laundering, money laundering and terror financing, terror, terror financing watchdog of money laundering and terror financing and t raja kumar t raja kumar is the chairman t raja kumar is the chairman t raja kumar is the chairman and it is headquartered at paris it is headquartered at paris kindly tell me the full form of fatf what is the full form of fatf hmm. fatf stands for FATF stands for Financial Action Task Force. Okay, FATF stands for Financial Action Task Force. Financial Action Task Force. Okay, FATF stands for Financial Action Task Force. Hmm. Now let's move to the next question. Which country has signed an MOU with the with the firm Pata Navigation to uh, become the country's first smart city with digital address? Okay. Which city has, has signed an MOU with the firm Pata Navigations to become the country's first smart city with digital address? Okay, so which is the uh, city? So the here city is Indore. Indore has signed uh, an MOU with the firm Pata Navigations to become the country's first smart city with digital address. It is also the it is the most cleanest city. Most cleanest city under swachh bharat sarvekshan okay under swachh bharat sarvekshan under swachh bharat sarvekshan under swachh bharat sarvekshan it is the most cleanest city of india it is the most cleanest city of india under swachh bharat sarvekshan you should remember Now, now we uh, I have an information for you that uh, you should download the official example app so that you can uh, be uh, able to buy the purchase or buy or purchase structured paid courses and you can get free PDFs from this application and there are free previous question papers which will really help you in getting your exams cleared. Okay, there are unlimited quiz, quiz and practices for this. Uh, for your exams and there are all India scholarship tasks by which you can get huge amount of scholarships and you can uh, you can get the free paid courses from this scholarship free paid courses from this scholarship free paid courses from this scholarship can be buy, bought by the scholarship of this and there are free PDFs available for the <coughs> content which will really help you in getting your exam cleared okay so this is the official example app by which by downloading which you will get the job alerts which are the upcoming vacancies or what are the uh, what are the notifications there are uh, which are available for your for the application hmm. so this will really help you in getting your exam cleared and you will be able to get the free content and also the paid content from the example official app so you should download it from the Google Play Store or you can download from the App Store of the uh, Apple. 
okay so here comes the next question for you which state government has decided to name the new inter, uh, integrated secretariat complex after baba sahib dr bhimra ambedkar okay so it is a huge it is a huge move by the telangana government it is a huge move by the telangana government that uh, they are going to uh, they are going to rename the uh, integrated secretariat complex after the baba sahib ambedkar and uh, here the correct answer is telangana okay telangana is the correct answer for this question now let's move to the next question which bank has become the third lender and the seventh indian company to cross the uh, cross the rupees 5 trillion market in the capitalization market for that first time okay so question is asking about the which indian bank which indian become bank bank uh, become the third lender and the seventh indian company third third lender third lender okay and seventh in company to cross the rupees 5 trillion mark in the market capitalization for the first time okay here the options are state bank of india axis bank punjab national bank and hdfc bank kindly give me the correct answer for this question what is the correct answer for this question state bank of india axis bank punjab national bank and hdfc bank what is the correct answer for this question hmm what is the correct answer for this question so here the correct answer is state bank of india okay here the answer is state bank of india and the milestone was first bank to get this milestone was first bank with 5 trillion 5 trillion amcap okay first bank with 5 trillion amcap was SDFC bank and recently the milestone has been achieved by the state bank of india and state bank of india was established on 1st of july 1955 okay state bank of india was established on 1st july 1955 it is the very uh, large bank of india and it, it is no also you can say the uh, very oldest bank of india so earlier it was known as imperial bank of india okay imperial bank of india imperial bank of india imperial bank of india was established in 1921 okay this bank was established in 1921 and now it is known as state bank of india since 1st of july 1955 okay now let's move to the next question who has become the first indian women wrestler to win the two medals at the world championships after uh, clinching a bronze in the 53 kg category in belgrade serbia okay so kindly give me the correct answer for this question question number 27 question number 27 question number 27 hmm which is the who has become the first women wrestler to win two medals at the world championships okay at the world championship which women has become the first Indian women wrestler to win two medals at the world championships after the clinching a bronze in 53 kg category in Belgrade Serbia okay Belgrade Serbia is the place where world championships held hmm what is the correct answer here so the correct answer is Venice Fogat Venice Fogat is the uh, women who had won the two medals at world championships <coughs> and she has become the first women to do this okay who has launched the book who has launched the book ambedkar and modi reformers ideas performers implementation a very important book and who was ambedkar ambedkar was the man man who is the chairman of drafting committee of the constitution drafting committee drafting committee chairman okay he was the chairman of the drafting committee of the constitution okay and uh, <coughs> he is a great reformer hmm who has released this book to question number 28 narendra modi m venkaiya naidu ramnath kovind and draupadi murmu kindly give me the correct answer for this question kindly give me the correct answer for this question hmm who has released the book okay the book has been released by ramnath kovind okay the book has been released by ramnath kovind and he is the former prime, uh, former president of india <coughs> question number 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन इज आस्किंग अबाउट हु हैज लॉन्च द नेशनल लॉजिस्टिक्स पॉलिसी इन न्यू डेली नरेंद्र मोदी राजनाथ सिंह अमित शाह एंड पीयूष गोयल नेशनल लॉजिस्टिक्स पॉलिसी नेशनल लॉजिस्टिक्स पॉलिसी इज अ ग्रेट इनिशिएटिव ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया दैट विल रिड्यूस द लॉजिस्टिक्स कॉस्ट ऑफ इंडिया एंड इट विल हेल्प टू बिकम द फाइव ट्रिलियन इकोनॉमी वेरी इजीली ओके सो हु हैज लॉन्च दिस नेशनल लॉजिस्टिक्स पॉलिसी इन न्यू डेली ऑप्शन आर नरेंद्र मोदी राजनाथ सिंह अमित शाह एंड पीयूष गोयल सो दिस पॉलिसी वॉज लॉन्च बाय नरेंद्र मोदी दिस पॉलिसी वॉज लॉन्च बाय नरेंद्र मोदी एंड इट विल रियली हेल्प इन रिड्यूसिंग द कॉस्ट ऑफ लॉजिस्टिक्स इन द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन एंड इट विल बी अ माइल स्टोन इन द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ इंडिया फाइंड आउट द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट्स रिगार्डिंग दिस इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ चीता इन इंडिया PM Narendra Modi has released bio cheetahs which had uh, become extinct from India in Kanha National Park. Option 2 uh, is asking uh, saying that cheetahs which have been brought from Nicaragua are being introduced in India under project cheetah. Out of 8 cheetahs there are 5 females and 3 are male. Okay. Out of 8 cheetahs which were introduced there are there are five cheetahs, uh, sorry, five uh, female and three male. Which is the correct statement regarding this introduction of, or you can say the reintroduction of cheetah in India? Kindly give me the correct answer. What is the correct answer for this question? Hmm. So this statement is absolutely wrong because Kana National Park, it is wrong. It is Kuno National Park. Okay. It is Kuno National Park. Okay. It is Kuno National Park, so the, the uh, statement is wrong. Cheetahs which were have been brought from the Nicaragua, not Nicaragua, that is Namibia. Okay, that is Namibia. Namibia is the correct answer for this question. Out of the eight cheetahs, there were there are five females and three are males. So this statement is absolutely correct. So here answer C is correct option for this question. Okay, answer C is the correct option for this question. Which of the following has been nominated as the first ever Shanghai Cooperation Organization Tourism and Culture, Co Culture Capital during the period 2022-2023? What is the correct answer for this question? Ayodhya, Baralsi, Ujjain and Puri. Ayodhya, Baralsi, Ujjain and Puri. What is the correct answer for this question? Kindly give me the correct answer for this question. SCU, Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Tourism and Culture Cap Capital. So, Tourism and Culture Capital of the uh, is Baranasi. Baranasi is the tourism capital. Baranasi is the tourism capital of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Okay. Now let's move to the next question. Who has been conferred with the France top civilian honor, Knight of the Legion of the Honor? Hmm. Okay. Very important question. Who has conferred with the France top civilian honor, Knight of the Legion of Honor? Knight of the Legion of the Honor. Nidambani, Roshni Nadar, Swati Piramal, and Divya Gupta. Hmm. What is the correct answer for this question? So here the correct answer is Swati Piramal. Swati Piramal is the correct answer for this question. Question number 32. Question number 32 option is Swati Piramal. Swati Piramal is the <coughs> winner of the France top civilian honor, Knight of the Legion honor and this question is going to be asked in your upcoming exams. Okay. Now let's move to the next question. Who has become India's 76th chess grandmaster? Hmm. Who has become India's 76th grandmaster? Who has become the India's 76th grandmaster? Kindly give me the correct answer. R. Pragnananda, Arvind Chindambaram, Pranav Anand and Abhijit Gupta. What is the correct answer for this question? What is the correct answer for this question? Question number 33. Question number 33. What is the correct answer for this question? So, here the correct answer is Pranav Anand. Okay. So, here the correct answer is Pranav Anand. Pranav Anand is the 76th, 76th Grand Master of <coughs> 76th Grand Master of India. Okay. So, these are, this is Grand Master related to chess. Grand Master philosophy related to chess. Okay. Hmm. So recently Arvind Chidambaram has defeated, so recently Arvind Chidambaram has defeated Magnus Carlsen. Magnus Carlsen. Okay, Arvind Chidambaram has recently defeated Magnus Carlsen. 
वर्ल्ड बेम्बू डे इज सेलिब्रेटेड एवरी ईयर ऑन विच डे वर्ल्ड बेम्बू डे इज सेलिब्रेटेड एवरी ईयर ऑन विच डे वर्ल्ड बेम्बू डे इज सेलिब्रेटेड एवरी ईयर ऑन विच डे क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फोर क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फोर क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फोर वर्ल्ड बेम्बू डे सेलिब्रेटेड एवरी ईयर ऑन विच डे विच डेट एटींथ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर फिफ्टींथ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर सिक्सटींथ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर नाइनटीन ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर कांडली गिव मी द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन वर्ल्ड बेम्बू डे What is the correct answer for this question? So the World Bamboo Day is celebrated every year on 18th of September. World Bamboo Day is celebrated every year on the every year on 18th of September. Okay. So this is the this is treated as gold. Bamboo is treated as gold, and it is the uh, it is a crop which can increase the capital, or we can say the increase the uh, riches of the agri uh, agriculture related. people which of the following place is declared as the first swachh sujal pradesh which of the following place is declared as india's first swachh sujal pradesh dadar nagar haveli andaman and nicobar daman and dew and goa okay can you tell me the correct answer for this question dadar nagar haveli andaman and nicobar daman and dew and goa which place is declared as india's first swachh sujal pradesh which place is declared as india's first sujal स्वच्छ सुजल प्रदेश अंडमान एंड निकोबार दादर नगर दमन एंड दू सो हेयर द करेक्ट आंसर इज करेक्ट आंसर इज अंडमान एंड निकोबार अंडमान एंड निकोबार इज अंडमान एंड निकोबार इज डिक्लेयर इंडिया फर्स्ट स्वच्छ सुजल प्रदेश ओके सो इन अंडमान एंड निकोबार एवरी पर्सन इज हैविंग क्लीन टैप वाटर सप्लाई क्लीन टैप वाटर सप्लाई इन देयर हाउसेज सो इट इज डिक्लेयर एज इंडिया फर्स्ट स्वच्छ सुजल प्रदेश ओके इफ समी आस्क दैट what is which is the first organic state of india which is the first organic state of india organic state of india then the answer will be sikkim okay the answer will be sikkim okay and uh, and what is what is evergreen revolution what is ever green revolution what is evergreen revolution okay can you tell me the uh, correct definition of evergreen revolution hmm. andaman and nicobar okay eterna at uh, andaman and nicobar is the correct answer for this question which of the following state government uh, has given in principle not to proposal to set up a institution on the lines of niti ayog to make studies decisions on various sectors so this is a very good move by a state you have to name the state which go, which state is going to implement this maharashtra tamil nadu gujarat and andhra pradesh okay so which state is going to uh, which state is going to implement this scheme uh, under which a uh, similar institution like niti ayog will be established to uh, as a think tank to uh, give the <coughs> very uh, researched ideas to the government so that they can implement it better tamil nadu maharashtra uh, gujarat and maharashtra sorry andhra pradesh so here the answer is maharashtra okay and maharashtra cm is Maharashtra CM is Eknath Shinde. Okay, CM is Eknath Shinde. Maharashtra CM is Eknath Shinde. <coughs> Maharashtra CM is Eknath Shinde. And who is the governor? Who is the governor of this state? Then the answer will be answer will be Bhagat Singh Koshiyari. Okay, the answer will be Bhagat Singh Koshiyari. Bhagat Singh Koshiyari will be the is the uh, is the governor of uh, maharashtra state now let's move to the next uh, question ha huh. 25 year old climate activist vanisha nakate has been appointed as the newest unicef goodwill ambassador she is from which country very good question very good question for your exams 30 question number 37 question number 37 ha huh. 24 year vanisha nakate 24 year bakin vanisha nakate has been appointed as the new newest unicef goodwill ambassador she is from which country then the answer will be uganda okay the answer will be uganda okay the answer will be uganda hmm uganda so in which of the following countries outside india india is going to establish iit okay 
तो आंसर विल बी यू ए आंसर विल बी यू ए ओके सो इंडियन गवर्नमेंट हैज डिसाइडेड टू सेटअप आई आई टी आउटसाइड इंडिया और वी कैन से आई आई टी कैंपस आउटसाइड इंडिया द कंट्रीज यूनाइटेड अरब अमीराज ओके नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंट्री हैज इमर्ज एज द लार्जेस्ट बायोलेटर लैंडर ऑफ द श्रीलंका ओवरटेकिंग ओवरटेकिंग चाइना ओवरटेकिंग चाइना सो इन दिस टाइम ऑफ द फाइनेंशियल क्राइसिस इन इंडिया और सॉरी श्रीलंका और यू कैन से द फाइनेंशियल और यू कैन से द वेरी वेरी सीवियर क्राइसिस ऑफ श्रीलंका इंडिया हैज इमर्ज एज द लार्जेस्ट लैंडर टू द श्रीलंका सो यह द करेक्ट आंसर इज इंडिया एंड हु इज द प्रेसिडेंट हु इज द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ श्रीलंका हु इज द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ श्रीलंका देन द आंसर विल बी द आंसर विल बी हम्म रानिल विक्रम संघे द आंसर विल बी रानिल विक्रम सिंघे ओके सो ही इज द प्रेसिडेंट एंड हु इज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर हु इज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर हम्म हु इज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर देन द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इज हम्म प्राइम मिनिस्टर इज दिनेश गुणवर्धने प्राइम मिनिस्टर इज दिनेश गुड वर्धन है ओके एंड श्रीलंका इज फेसिंग अ सीवियर क्राइसिस यू कैन से फाइनेंशियल क्राइसिस एंड आई एम एफ हैज डिसाइडेड टू गिव अ बेल आउट पैकेज ओके बेल आउट पैकेज फॉर श्रीलंका एंड व्हाट इज बेल आउट पैकेज व्हाट इज बेल आउट पैकेज काइंडली टेल मी व्हाट टू यू नेस्ट माई बेल आउट पैकेज What you understand by bailout package? Okay, so this bailout package is a financial a uh, uh, financial assistance given by a country or an international financial organization of to the country which which facing a, a serious financial uh, crisis or you can say the financial emergency in <coughs> a country. So next question is who among the following has won the bronze medal in the men's sixty five category at the World Wrestling Championship in Belgrade? Hmm. Who among the following has won the bronze medal in the men's 65 kilogram category in the World Wrestling Championship in Belgrade? Options are Bajrang Punia, Deepak Punia, Yogeshwar Dutt, and Satya Vart Kadian. Hmm. Can you give me the correct answer? A relief amount given to the country. Okay, ha. Huh. Hmm. Ganesh Gayatonde. It is. It is not a kind of relief amount. It you can say that the financial assistance or because relief amount is not uh, paid back. Okay. Relief amount is not paid back, but in the case of bailout package, it is to be paid back. Hmm. Gaitonde, hmm. No. Gaitonde. The correct answer is Bajrang Punia. Okay. The correct answer is Bajrang Punia. Here for this question. Now let's move to the next question. Which football club has won its maiden and the fun thirty first edition of the Durand Cup? Hmm. Uh, A T K Mohan Bagan. A football club, Goa, Kerala Blasters, and Bangalore Football Club. Bangalore Football Club. Kindly give me the correct answer for this question. Kindly give me the correct answer for this question. So, Durand Cup is a uh, related to the Durand Cup is related to football. Durand Cup is related to football. Okay, Durand Cup is related to football, and here. Bangalore Football Club is the correct answer for this question, and it has received, or uh, sorry, it has won the first, or you can say the maiden, one thirty first title of the Durand Cup. Okay. So this time Durand Cup is organized in three cities. What are the cities? Kolkata. Kolkata. कोलकाता इम्फाल कोलकाता इम्फाल एंड गुवाहाटी ओके कोलकाता इम्फाल एंड गुवाहाटी हो गिनेश गाटोंडे करेक्ट आंसर है बेंगलुरु फुटबॉल क्लब गुवाहाटी सो दिस टाइम दिस टाइम द इवेंट इज ऑर्गेनाइज इन थ्री सिटीज कोलकाता इम्फाल एंड गुवाहाटी नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हु अमंग द फॉलोइंग हैज इनोग्रेटेड वी केयर अ डेली पुलिस कम्युनिटी पुलिसिंग इनिशिएटिव Amit Shah, Narendra Modi, Rajnath Singh, and V K Saxena. Okay, kindly tell me the correct answer for this question. Hmm. 
who has who has inaugurated we care who has inaugurated we care uh, we care a delhi police community policing initiative okay kindly tell me uh, in which year in which year the capital of india shifted to delhi from kolkata so the capital of india was shifted to <coughs> shifted to uh, new delhi in 1900 12 okay it was announced in 19 okay announcement made announced meant made announcement made but in 1912 actually 1912 actually moved to actually moved to Delhi. Okay. So, what is the uh, what is the correct answer for this question? Hmm. So, here the correct answer is V K Saxena. Okay. He is the governor. So, he is the sorry. He is the L G. He is the L G of New. Uh, he is L G of Delhi. So, first of all, when uh, <coughs> when you have heard the Delhi Police Community Program, then the answer which then the answer which has you thought is very clear that is amisha because the police system or the we can say the administration hmm, okay uh, correct answer is vk saxena vinay kumar saxena is the correct answer for this question but some people will mark the question uh, some people mark the option option number a why because the police system is under the home ministry of union government okay so people will mark the amisha but in this case amisha is not the correct answer for this question now let's move to the next question which indian naval ship has decommissioned after 32 years of illustrious and distinguished services to the nation options are brahmaputra betwa ajay and godavari kindly give me the correct answer for this question which naval ship was decommissioned after 32 years of illustrious and distinguished services to the nation okay so there was a there was an ins ship ins vikrant ins vikrant hmm what uh, what is the specialty of ins vikrant what is the specialty of ins vikrant kindly comment in the comment box so here the correct answer is ajay okay the current correct answer here is ajay ajay was decommissioned from the uh, decommission as the uh, naval ship from the indian navy hmm ins vikrant can you tell me what is the specialty of ins vikrant i will i'm moving to the next question comment in the comment box international day of peace is observed on which day international day of peace 17th of september 19th of september 20th of september or 21st of september okay what is the correct answer what is the correct answer for this question international day of peace is observed on which day international day of peace is observed on which day 17th of september 19th of september 20th of september 21st of september hmm what is the correct answer for this question what is the correct answer for this question hmm question number 40 3 question number 43 hmm can you tell me the answer okay there is guide on day correct answer is 21st september okay bilkul okay correct answer is 21st september <coughs> what is what, what was the theme what was the theme what was the theme the answer will be and racism build peace and racism build peace and racism build peace and racism build peace and on which day and on which day international non violence day celebrated international non violence day celebrated non violence day celebrated 
इंटरनेशनल नॉन वायलेंस डे सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन विच डे कैंडली गिव मी द करेक्ट आंसर सो इंटरनेशनल नॉन वायलेंस डे इज सेलिब्रेटेड एवरी ईयर ऑन सेकेंड ऑफ अक्टूबर ऑन द बर्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑन द ओकेजन ऑफ द बर्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ महात्मा गांधी सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आंसर क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर योर एग्जामिनेशन द गवर्नमेंट हैज नॉमिनेटेड रतन टाटा के टी थॉमस एंड डेस एज ट्रस्टीज ऑफ पी एम केयर्स फंड ओके पी एम केयर्स फंड वॉज लॉन्च ड्यूरिंग द कोविड लॉकडाउन और लॉन्च ड्यूरिंग द कोविड लॉकडाउन कोविड लॉकडाउन इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू कोविड लॉकडाउन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू हू इज दिस्टी इन द पी एम केयर्स फंड अलॉन्ग विद रतन टाटा एंड कैटी थॉमस यशवंत सिन्हा एम वेंकैया नायडू उर्जित पटेल एंड करिया मुंडा करिया मुंडा काइंडली कमेंट द राइट आंसर इन द कमेंट बॉक्स कमेंट इन द कमेंट बॉक्स व्हाट इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन करिया मुंडा सचिन यादव करिया मुंडा सो हियर द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर डी करिया मुंडा करिया मुंडा इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन यूर आर यू आर एब्सोल्युटली राइट सचिन यादव हम्म एब्सोल्युटली राइट ओके देन व्हाट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ पी एम PM cares <coughs> cares stand for citizens assistance citizens assistance and relief citizens assistance and relief in emergency situation in emergency situation in emergency situation earlier very uh, uh, there are several parties which had uh, made the <clears throat> made remarks on the pm cares fund that uh, the cares fund should be uh, uh, should be investigated by the cag or uh, very high authority so that the irregularities in the fund should be avoided which country central bank has uh, has an agreement has signed an agreement with india's international financial services authority ifca to facilitate regulatory collaboration in fintech technology okay so the fintech center so the all the fintechs uh, all the fintech industries for the development of fintech industries in india the government of india decided to uh, to uh, allocate a Uh, allocate a special city for the development of fintech industry and the industry is no uh, city is known as gift tech city okay gift city okay the city is known as gift city what is the name of gift city gujarat gujarat international financial tech city okay gujarat international finance tech city is located in ahmedabad gujarat ahmedabad gujarat okay and the international financial services center and the international financial services center is also located in also located in uh, this gift city okay international financial service international financial services center international financial service center is located in gift city and here the answer is singapore okay indian government has signed an agreement with the singapore with to <coughs> the development of international or uh, to facilitate fintech technology in india hmm what is this question asian development bank has lowered its growth forecast for the 2020 23 to how much percent from 7.2% estimated in july 2022 very important question very important question okay your answer is hmm morrisus morrisus is not correct answer morrisus is not the correct answer morrisus is wrong hmm 
What is the correct answer for this question? 7.1%, 7%, 6.9% or 7%? Hmm. Kindly give me the correct answer for this question. What is the correct answer for this question? Can you give the correct answer? <coughs> so here the correct answer is 7%. Correct answer here is 7%. Okay. Dinesh Gai Tonde, you are absolutely wrong. Correct answer is 7%. 7%. And recently IMF, recently IMF, World Bank and RBI. These all institutions has revised the growth forecast for India for the year 2023. Okay, for the year 2023. FY 2020, FY23. <coughs> Can you give the correct answer? What is the correct estimation of the GDP of by the MF, World Bank and RBI for India in 2023? What is the correct answer? Hmm. What is the correct answer? Dinesh Gai Tonde, Sachin Yadav. Dinesh Gaitonde, Sachin Yadav, the IMF has lowered the growth forecast of India by 6.8% to 6.8% and it is 6.5%, 6.5% and RBI, it, the answer is 7.0%, okay. Earlier, the government of India in budget, <coughs> Ganush, uh, Ganesh Gaitonde, no, Ganesh, uh, it is not a problem, it is uh, just a practice uh, session. So, you should practice here and you should remember that the same mistake is not followed in the uh, examination hall, okay. So, earlier in budget 2023, budget 2023, government has decided that the government has estimated the Indian economy will grow at the rate of 10.2 percent. But with the ongoing crisis in the Ukraine and Russia and uh, there are, uh, there is <coughs> uh, Ukraine, Russia and also you can see that the inflation in uh, England or you can say that uh, in US, there is a serious concern of inflation, okay. Serious concern in inflation, uh, serious concern in inflation. So, all over the world, not only in India, all over the world, they are facing a severe concern of inflation and rupee crisis or you can say currency crisis in their countries and recently Liz Ross has resigned, Liz, Liz Ross has resigned after a tenure of 46 days. After tenure of 46 days, a uh, very, uh, uh, we can say that the it is the least tenure of a Prime Minister in uh, <coughs> Britain. So, all things or all, all the countries are impacted with the Russia-Ukraine crisis. Because crude oil or you can say the petroleum prices are going higher day by day. And for the country like India, petroleum prices uh, uh, makes a lot of problem. Swimmer Elvis Ali Hazarika, Swimmer Elvis Ali Hazarika become the first, has become the first from the northeast state to cross the north channel, north channel. He is from which state? Tirupara, Sikkim, Assam, Arunachal Pradesh. Tirupara, Sikkim, Assam, Arunachal Pradesh. Kindly can tell me the correct answer for this question. What will be the correct answer for this question? What will be the correct answer for this question? Okay, so the correct answer for this question is Assam. Okay, he is from Assam and he is become the first person from the northeast to cross the north channel. He is from which state and you can say that he is the oldest person. He is the oldest person to uh, swim the English channel. Hmm. Now, move to, the, move to the next question. World Alzheimer's Day is observed every year on which day? World Alzheimer's Day. Okay, Alzheimer is a very... Uh, Assam is the correct answer. Ganesh Gaitonde, Assam is the correct answer. So, Alzheimer is a very rare disease and it is a very, very serious disease among the, uh, among the people. In this, uh, in this uh, disease, people forgot what people forgot things. Hmm. On 19th September, 20th September, 21st September, 22nd September, 23rd September. Hmm. What is the correct answer for this question? What is the correct answer for this question? So here the correct answer 21st September. 21st September is celebrated as World Alzheimer's Day every year in the world. 
Now let's move to the next question. A uh, popularly a uh, popular comedian Raju Srivastava passed away recently. He is from which of the following state? Popular comedian Raju Srivastava passed away recently. He is from which of the following states? Hmm. Then is Gai Tonde. Your answer. Uh, Oh, C is the correct answer. Hmm. Uttar Pradesh, Gujarat, Rajasthan, Maharashtra. Uttar Pradesh, Gujarat, Rajasthan, Maharashtra. He is from which of the following state? He is from the which of the following states? So, recently popular comedian Rajesh Srivastava has died and he is from the Uttar Pradesh. He is a very good comedian uh, which has died uh, recently in Ames, Delhi. And he hailed from the state of Uttar Pradesh. Okay. Now, let's move to the next question. International Day of Sign Languages is celebrated annually on which day? International Day of Sign Languages. Okay, this is very important day. This is very important day. Uh, that is, that was asked, oh, Dinesh Gaitonde, it is, he is, uh, he is not from Maharashtra. Okay, he is not from the Maharashtra. He is from the UP, but he lives in Maharashtra or Mumbai because he is related to the Bollywood industry. Okay. So, here the question is asking about the International Day of Sign Languages, which is celebrated. You have to answer on which day is it, it is celebrated. 21st September, 22nd of September, 23rd September, 24th September. Hmm, kindly give me the correct answer for this question. So, here the correct answer is 24th of September. 23rd September is celebrated as International Day of Sign Languages every year. International Day of Sign Languages every year. 23rd September. Hmm. Now, let's move to the next question. Which of the following districts, uh, district has achieved 100% digitization of banking operation? Okay, 100% digitization of banking operations. Which cities has received this landmark? Options are Mallapuram, Indore, Rampur, Leh. Mallapuram, Indore, Rampur, Leh. Hmm. Mallapuram, Indore, Rampur, Leh. So, this landmark has been achieved by the city of Leh and Leh is the city or the capital of Ladakh. Okay. It is the capital of Ladakh. You have heard about the Losar festival. Okay. You have heard about the Losar festival. Losar festival or you can say that uh, other festival is Hemes Gompa. Hemes festival, Hemes festival and you can also also known as the Herat festival okay Herat festival so these all festivals are related with these all festivals are related with which state then the answer is Ladakh okay and who is the governor of Ladakh who is the LG of Ladakh hmm. kindly tell me the who is governor or LG who is the LG or governor of Ladakh. Hmm. Hamish National Park, okay. Hamish National Park is also situated here in Ladakh. Hamish Gompa. Hamish Gompa Monastery, okay. Hamish Gompa Monastery is also situated. Hamish Gompa Monastery, it is the largest monastery in Ladakh. Hamish Gompa Buddhist Monastery. Hamish Gompa Buddhist Monastery is also located in Ladakh. Hmm. R.K. Mathur, okay. R.K. Mathur. R.K. Mathur. R.K. Mathur is the correct answer for the Ladakh governor. And who was the first, who was the first governor of Jammu Kashmir? It, the question was asked. First governor. First governor of Jammu and Kashmir. Okay. The answer will be, the answer will be G.C. Murmu. Okay. Girish Chandra Murmu. The answer is Greece. It was asked in exam. Okay. Greece Chandra Murmu. Greece Chandra Murmu. Okay. And give me uh, give me an answer. On which date? On which date? On which date? The Union Territory, Union Territory of India, sorry, Union Territory of Jammu Kashmir and Ladakh was separated from India. On which day, on which day, Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh was separated and the Article 370 was abolished? Okay, Sachin Yadav, Current Singh, Current Singh is not the answer. Current Singh is not the answer. Hmm. 
the correct answer is Jishi Murmu. Okay. So the 30 on 31st October, 31st October on 31st October, October 2019, 31st October 2019, Ladakh and Jammu and Kashmir, Ladakh and Jammu and Kashmir, Ladakh and Jammu and Kashmir became UT. They became both UT on 31st of October 2019. And, and why on 31st of 19? The why, why 31st October 2019 and earlier and earlier <coughs> the announcement was made or the law was passed on 5th of August 2019 because on the 31st October a very important person birth anniversary celebrated and who is he who is he he is Sadar Ballabhai Patel okay so the national unity day is celebrated on 31st of 31st of every year national unity day okay national unity day National Unity Day is celebrated every year. National Unity Day is celebrated every year on 31st of October. 31st of October. Okay. Now, let's move to the next question. Who has been elected as the president of Hockey India? Hockey India president. Who is elected as the Hockey India president? Can you tell me the answer? Dilip Tirke, Ignace Tirke, Biju Patnayak and Dhanraj Pillai. Hmm. What is the correct answer for this question? Dilip Tirke, Ignace Tirke, Biju Patnayak and Dhanraj Pillai. What is the correct answer for this question? Okay, the correct answer for this question is Dilip Tirke. Dilip Tirke is the president of Hockey India and Biju Patnayak is the person, Biju Patnayak is the person who had made a, who had made a tremendous effort to <coughs> reintroduce hockey in India. And recently you have seen that in Olympic 2020, India had won bronze medal okay who has been appointed as the director general of indian council of medical research uh, one minute uh, i will take one minute <clears throat> okay, I am here. Uh, so here the correct answer for this question is uh, who has appointed the Director General of Indian Council of Medical Research. So here the correct answer is Rajiv Bahal. Rajiv Bahal is appointed as the Director General of Indian Council of Medical Research. Okay, so here the correct answer is Rajiv Bahal. And who is the Basyugda Gupta? He is, uh, she is the first woman general, of, first woman director of All India Radio. Okay, All India Radio. She is the first director, managing director of Indian All India Radio. All India Radio. And who is the Samir V. Kamath? Samir V. Is Kamath is the chairman of DRDO. Samir V. Kamath is the chairman of DRDO. Chairman of DRDO. Okay. Samir V. Kamath. Samir V. Kamath. And G. Satish Reddy was the uh, earlier, he was the chairman of the DRDO. And DRDO was established on 1st of January 1958. Okay. 1st of January 1958 and uh, headquartered at New Delhi. So, these all the information you should remember. And Indian Council of Medical Research. Indian Council of Medical Research was established in which year? Hmm. Indian Council of Medical Research. Indian Council of Medical Research was established in ICMR. ICMR. Okay. ICMR was established in 1911. ICMR established in 1911 as the imperial as the imperial Council of Medical Research, okay, by the Britisher or British government. Now, let's move to the next question. 
इंडिया एंड विच कंट्री हैज एग्रीड टू टेक फॉरवर्ड सप्त कोसी हाई डैम प्रोजेक्ट ओके सप्त कोशी द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग वर्ट द सप्त कोसी हाई डैम प्रोजेक्ट इन विच कंट्री इट इज लोकेटेड बांग्लादेश नेपाल भूटान पाकिस्तान बांग्लादेश नेपाल भूटान पाकिस्तान इन विच कंट्री इट इज लोकेटेड बांग्लादेश नेपाल भूटान एंड पाकिस्तान सो हियर द करेक्ट आंसर इज नेपाल ओके सो हियर द करेक्ट आंसर इज नेपाल नेपाल इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन चंडीगढ़ एयरपोर्ट विल बी रीनेम्ड आफ्टर डेस एज अ ट्रिब्यूट टू द नेशनल फ्रीडम फाइटर डॉक्टर भीमराव अम्बेडकर रानी लक्ष्मीबाई भगत सिंह बहादुर शाह जफर बहादुर शाह जफर वॉट इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन चंडीगढ़ एयरपोर्ट विल बी रीनेम्ड आफ्टर डैश एज अ ट्रिब्यूट टू द ग्रेट फ्रीडम फाइटर सो चंडीगढ़ एयरपोर्ट सर्व द टू स्टेट्स और यू कैन से द्री प्लेसेस दैट इज चंडीगढ़ स्टेट एज अ यूनिट टेरिटरी एंड पंजाब एंड हरियाणा पंजाब एंड हरियाणा सो दिस दिस एयरपोर्ट सर्व टू थ्री प्लेसेस चंडीगढ़ हरियाणा एंड पंजाब so both so both the uh, states have agreed to rename it as bhagat singh bhagat singh airport okay bhagat singh airport and recently ayodhya airport is renamed as ayodhya airport ayodhya airport is renamed as okay ayodhya airport is renamed as which is airport hmm maryada purushottam sri ram airport okay maryada purushottam maryada पुरुषोत्तम मर्यादा पुरुषोत्तम श्री राम एयरपोर्ट ओके मर्यादा पुरुषोत्तम श्री राम एयरपोर्ट मर्यादा पुरुषोत्तम श्री राम एयरपोर्ट एंड देर आर सेवरल अदर्स रिसेंटली यू हैव सीन दैट प्राइम मिनिस्टर वॉज ए विजिट ऑन देवघर देवघर एयरपोर्ट देवघर एयरपोर्ट रीनेम्ड एज अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी एयरपोर्ट अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी एयरपोर्ट अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी एयरपोर्ट ओके देवघर एयरपोर्ट इज रीनेम्ड एज अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी एयरपोर्ट यू शुड रिमेंबर फॉर योर एग्जाम्स नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन National Payment Corporation of India approved the reappointment of Dilip Aswe as the managing director and chief executive officer for a period of five years, with effect from January 8, 2023. What? Where is the headquarter of NPCI? It is a very large question. You you will take a lot of time to read it out. But the question is very simple, and they are asking the headquarters of NPCI. They are asking the headquarters of NPCI. Hmm. So where is the headquarters of NPCI? National Payment Corporation of India. National Payment Corporation of India is the actual name of NPCI, and NPCI has introduced Bhim QR, okay, Bhim QR, and uh, other is Rupee Card, Rupee Card, and uh, UPI. So these three are very, 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 very. Uh, uh, Dinesh Gaitonde, you are marking the answer C. Okay, this is the correct answer. Okay, the NPCI is headquartered at U, uh, Mumbai. What is the full form of UPI? Kindly comment in the comment box. Uh, what is the full form of UPI? And which is the first country? And which is which is the first country to accept the rupee card? Which is the first country to accept the rupee card? Okay. First country. I'm asking about the first country. Okay, first country and latest country. First country to accept. First country to accept rupee card and latest country to accept rupee card. Okay, the first country to accept rupee card was <coughs> Singapore. First country was Singapore, and recently. Hmm. Unified payment interface. Okay, it, it is correct. U UPI. Okay, latest country is Oman. Latest country is Oman. So UPI stands for UPI stands for Unified Payment Interface. Okay, and Beam stands for Beam. Beam is stands for Bharat Interface for Money. 
ओके भीम स्टैंड फॉर भारत इंटरफेस फॉर भीम स्टैंड फॉर भारत इंटरफेस फॉर मनी सो दीज ऑल आर द वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एब्रीविशन विच यू शुड रिमेंबर एंड दिलीप आसवा इज द एंड एन पी सी आई एन पी सी आई इज अ ज्वाइंट वेंचर ऑफ एन पी सी आई इज अ ज्वाइंट वेंचर ऑफ इंडियन बैंक एसोसिएशन इंडियन बैंक एसोसिएशन इंडियन बैंक एसोसिएशन एंड आर बी आई ओके एंड इट वॉज स्टेब्लिश इन टू थाउजेंड सेवन Now let's move to the next question. Hmm. Here comes the next question. Who, who has been appointed as the chairman and director of the Realtel? Who has been direct? Who has been appointed as the chairman and managing director of Realtel? Okay. Uh, Rajesh Verma, Sanjay Kumar, Sanjay Khanna, and M B Ayer. What is the correct answer for this question? What is the correct answer for this question? Rajesh Verma, Sanjay Kumar, and Sanjay Khanna. So here the correct answer for this question is Sanjay Kumar. Okay. Sanjay Kumar is the chairman and managing director of rail tel organization okay rail tel organization cmd is sanjay kumar hmm. now let's move to the next question antyodaya antyodaya divas is celebrated in india every year on which day very important day very important day for your examinations antyodaya divas is celebrated every year in india on which of the following days 24th of september 25th of september 26th of september 27th of september what is the correct answer for this question antyoday is celebrated on which day every year in india hmm what is the correct answer for this question so the correct answer for this question uh, ganesh gaitonde sachin yadav are you here and if you are here then kindly comment the answer kindly comment the answer for this question Hmm. What is the correct answer for this question? So here the correct answer is twenty fifth of September. Twenty fifth of September is celebrated as the Antyodaya Divas every year. Okay, and it is the birth anniversary of it is the birth anniversary of Din Dyal Upadhyay, and it is the birth anniversary of Din Dyal Upadhyay. Okay, birth anniversary of Din Dyal Upadhyay. दीन दयाल उपाध्याय ओके इट इज द बर्थ एनिवर्सरी आई यू डोंट नो आई यू डोंट नो देन इट्स ऑल राइट इट्स नॉट अ मैटर ऑफ कंसर्न बट यू शुड नो नाउ ओके बट यू शुड नो नाउ सो दिस इज द बर्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ दीन दयाल उपाध्याय इट इज सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर ही गेव द प्री कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ही गेव द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ही गेव द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ अंत्योदय ओके ही गेव द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ अंत्यो ही गेव द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ अंत्योदय अंत्योदय एंड वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ अंत्योदय What is the meaning of antyode? Antyode means upliftment of poorest of the poor. Okay, antyode means upliftment of poorest of the poor. Upliftment of poorest of the poor. Upliftment of poorest of the poor is known as the antyode. Okay, so you should also remember that Kandla Airport, Kandla Kandla Port. Kandla Port, Kandla Port, renamed as Din Dayal Upadhyay Port. Okay, and you should also remember that uh, Mughal Sarai Station, Mughal Sarai Station, Mughal Sarai Station, Mughal Sarai Station is also renamed as Din Dayal Upadhyay. railway station so these are the uh, renaming of some of the important places in india okay 
कार्ला पोर्ट इज इन गुजरात एंड मुगसराय स्टेशन इज उत्तर प्रदेश मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हु हैज बॉर्न द ब्रेक थ्रू प्राइज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री इन द मैथमेटिक्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर एग्जाम्स हु हैज बॉर्न द ब्रेक थ्रू प्राइज इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री इन द मैथमेटिक्स डैनियल ए स्पीलमैन जेम्स मे मेनार्ड जेम्स मेनार्ड अन्ना कैरेनी एंड दैमिस हासमिस हु हैज बॉर्न रिनेम्ड मुगल सरा एज दीनदयाल उपाध्याय रेलवे स्टेशन and these all are the efforts of the uh, uttar pradesh government and uh, nd government of the center hmm what is the correct answer for this question so here the correct answer for this question is breakthrough prize in mathematics was went to daniel daniel a spielman daniel a spielman is the correct answer for this question okay so now let's move to next question Uh, World Environment Health Day is observed on every year. Observed every year on which day? World Environment Health Day. Okay, you have heard that World Health Day. World Health Day. World Health Day is celebrated on which day? World Health Day is celebrated on which day? Hmm. World Health Day is celebrated on Vishwa Swasthya Divas. हेल्थ डे कैंडी गिव मी द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर द क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी वन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी वन वॉट विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर सो हे द करेक्ट आंसर इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स ऑफ सेप्टेंबर एंड वर्ल्ड हेल्थ डे इज सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन विच डे कैंडली कमेंट इन द कमेंट बॉक्स कैंडली कमेंट इन द कमेंट बॉक्स वर्ल्ड हेल्थ डे क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी टू हु विल बी ऑनर्ड विद द फिफ्टी सेकेंड दादा साहेब फालके अवार्ड एंड हु विल बी नॉट अवार्ड अवार्ड हो यस 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 गणेश घाट ऑन डे द करेक्ट आंसर इज सेवेंथ ऑफ अप्रैल ओके द करेक्ट आंसर इज सेवेंथ ऑफ अप्रैल करेक्ट आंसर इज सेवेंथ ऑफ अप्रैल एवरी ईयर इज सेलिब्रेटेड एज द वर्ल्ड हेल्थ डे एंड इट इज द डे ऑन विच इंसेप्शन इंसेप्शन ऑफ World Health Organization, okay, on the same day, on the same day. Hmm. Who will be honored with the fifty second? That's what you are saying. Nothing happened. Uh, nothing happened. Now I am here in the uh, here in the classroom. Uh, who will be honored with this fifty second fifty uh, second Dada Sai Phalke Award? So here the correct answer is Asa Parekh. Asa Parekh was uh, sorry uh, is a very renowned uh, semi studio. Okay. Good. 
तो सो हेयर द करेक्ट आंसर इज आसा पारेख हेयर द करेक्ट आंसर इज आसा पारेख फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन सो फिफ्टी सेकेंड दादा साहिब फाल के अवार्ड वेंट टू आसा पारेख यू शुड रिमेंबर फॉर द एग्जाम्स ओके एंड अर्लियर इट वॉज इट वेंट टू रजनीकांत ओके अर्लियर इट वेंट टू रजनीकांत सो दिस इज द लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर योर एग्जाम एंड आई एम गोइंग टू वाइंड अप दिस क्लास आई होप यू हैव एंजॉयड अ लॉट इन द क्लास एंड अ वेरी वेरी स्पेशल दिवाली सेलिब्रेशंस यू शुड मेड इन दिस ईयर एंड यू शुड ऑल्सो प्रिपेयर फॉर योर एग्जामिनेशन सो दैट सो दैट द नेक्स्ट टाइम द सेलिब्रेशन इज मोर और स्पीचेस फॉर यू एंड आई विश अ वेरी हैप्पी दिवाली टू यू ऑल ऑफ यू काइंडली सेलिब्रेट दिवाली विद वेरी केयरफुलनेस ओके सो इट्स वाइंड अप फॉर दिस सेशन now you will uh, study mathematics or the quantitative aptitude in this class okay thank you thank you thank you dinesh uh, thank you ganesh gatonde hmm. uh, uh, dada sai phalke uh, uh, dada sai phalke related to movie it is not related to movie or film it is a lifetime achievement okay it is a lifetime achievement of for a uh, <coughs> actress or actress for actor or actress okay so i am winding the uh, classroom any other question okay so thank you and all the best for your exams and also hmm and also your diwali will be very prosperous okay thank you